Good evening guys. So this here is my uh, Nintendo NES computer. Uh, that I've crammed, yeah, crammed it into a NES case. It's a broken NES, so don't worry. Uh, in a way I got the complete system in the case with the power supply and everything. That's the thing on the right. Uh, motherboard is upside down. It's a uh, AMD Fusion board. I don't know. Maybe I'm the first one with a AMD Fusion uh, Nintendo. I don't. I don't know. Anyone know? Anyway, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Except I got the hard drive under the motherboard. Uh, let me see. I got a few of my USB accessories in here. The wireless adapter adapter for the wireless keyboard and mouse and the uh, uh, memory stick for you know ready boost I also got uh, uh, down there somewhere I got a adapter so I can use uh, any original NES controllers and so it's a USB adapter for that and as you can see here the ATX connector didn't fit on the motherboard so I had to Solder the wires on the back of the motherboard. It was kind of difficult because uh, you know there's a lot of copper surfaces inside the motherboard, so it was kind of hard to heat it up. But uh, it took a while, but I got it right. Uh, yeah, I got uh, what is it? Uh, 70mm slim fan there from a stock AMD cooler. Uh, and that's uh, cooling the power supply. I also got a identical fan in the bottom of the case, drawing cool air in and cooling the CPU and everything. Hmm. Yeah, those are the only two fans in the system running on low speeds, so it doesn't sound too much. But they're good fans, but they're a bit noisy, you know, mechanical noise. So. I managed to decouple the power supply fan because that was the noisiest one. But uh, the you know case uh, CPU fan still makes a bit of a noise. But anyway, this is what it uh, looks like topless. Eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a bench, so I'm gonna put it down there eventually. But I'm gonna need to make some. Uh, Ventilation, so I got this Noctua low noise fan. Mm, yeah, I tried it out and it's actually really, really quiet. There's still a bit of vibration, but except for that, there's like no air noise, if you know what I mean, no turbulence and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's really nice. Expensive though, uh, cheap wireless keyboard it's called ACE C2 I think it's it's a good keyboard but the range is really really short I mean it's like two meters and it's just nothing it's like a you know complete like a wall if you go behind it you know you can't get anything it doesn't work top of the case, the top half, got a DVD drive in there, a slot in drive, it's mounted in there in the with the uh, epoxy glue, you know the, the original opening is just about wide enough for a CD or DVD to fit through there, so yeah I didn't have to mod it too much, I got this uh, thing here to, you know, if the d drive wants to spit out the discs while the lid is closed, the lid will actually pop open. It works great. If I didn't have that, I don't know what would happen. Maybe the drive would break, but I doubt it. It's just a convenience thing, really. Uh, yeah, anyway, and yeah, I got an emulator running, up and running, Nintendo, Nintendo NES emulator. 
what they're gonna turn on the sound. Here's the controller. Um, oh, which button is it? Oh, that one. I can select your guy and stuff like that. Uh, which button I can't really play with. Yeah, there we go. it works. I can't really play with only one hand though and even with two hands I can't play. <laughs> it's really hard. I don't know how I managed this as a kid. But I guess just practice. Remember the coordination you know. And eventually I'm gonna hook it up the audio output to my stereo which is down there as well and I got these speakers which are big and crappy and the only thing they are good for is a lot of bass really. Uh, wait, let me turn the sound off again. There we go. Turn the tele off as well. It's a plasma, so I don't want static images for too long. No idea speakers are, you know. Uh, back in the days, at least here in Sweden, uh, the core audio shops they used to sell uh, kits with the you know the low end cheap crap car woofers and stuff and the, the kids were supposed to you know be for home you know entertainment use for stereos and stuff they were cheap but they're also bad they were four ohm four ohm woof ah can't talk the four ohm woofers and the uh, I think the mid range and treble on uh, Twitter I think they are actually 8 ohms. The woofers are connected 2 in series, and those two pairs are connected in parallel, so you have 4 ohms there. And like I said, good bass, but not anything, well, <laughs> kind of bad in everything else. So I'm gonna replace those, uh, that's the next thing I'm gonna buy, I think. Uh, I'm looking at a pair of low end uh, Dyna voice speakers because you know I'm not one of those hi fi crazy guys. I just want some something nice looking, really, with a good sound, at least better than what I, ha what I have now. Uh, and yeah, Dyna voice, I don't remember what model it is, but they're supposed to be really, really good for what they cost, so yeah, I'm gonna get those. I'm just gonna have to look over my <laughs> my savings, you know, so I don't <laughs> spend too much. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the Dyna voices are supposed to be roughly the same size, but you know, just better everything, better looks, better sound, you know, deal. And I don't want to spend too much on the speakers because. My stereo is pretty bad. I still got a. No, here I got a old Pioneer, you know, integrated receiver. And like I said, I'm not a hi-fi guy. I just want decent sound, and that's it. So uh, yeah, next up to do this is just close it up, put it down in the media bench. And install the ventilation. I'm gonna have to make a hole full in the van. It'll be great. Hopefully, not very noisy at all. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good time.